Hey folks, welcome to Testing Hacks and this is the Java series. And now we are going to see what is Java. We learned how to install Java and Eclipse in the previous videos. If you have not watched them, please do watch them. In this video, we will understand what is Java and what are the key features of this Java programming. Let's go. Java is an object-oriented programming language. Java is well known as an object-oriented programming language, right? And it is a two-stage programming language, meaning that it is a compiled language and it is an interpreted one. What happens is, whenever you write any code, first, it will be a source code and then that should be converted into byte code for the machine to understand. Whatever the English like statement we write, it cannot be understandable by the system. So it will convert it. That is the reason it is compiled. And once it con uh, you know, it processes and the results will be interpreted back from byte code to the source code, whatever uh, the English like statement that you have written. Okay. In Java, code is first compiled and then translated into a binary form called Java byte code. After the conversion, whatever the code that comes right from the, your source, uh, source code to byte code, that conversion, after this conversion, that particular uh, language is called as byte code. Okay. Now, let's understand some of the key features of Java. Java is simple, portable, object-oriented, two-stage execution, secure, dynamic, distributed, multi-threaded. So these are the main key uh, features of Java and it is one of the important question too. Let's see one by one. Let's see why it is simple. Java tends to be easier to use than many languages it is similar to as it takes simplistic approach to handle pointers and operating uh, sorry operator overloading so because of uh, certain features of the java it makes anyone easily uh, understandable okay it is very simple after we learn it it is really uh, basically it is syntax oriented once after we get syntax properly then it will be easier portable java is not platform dependent okay developers can write code at once and run it anywhere needed in the previous systems the code whichever has been written can be run on that particular machine but now it has the capacity of portability whatever the code that you write on one machine can be run on other machines too object oriented everything in java is considered to be an object basically java is well known for object orientation right so this means that everything has its own behavior or state and adds structure to the language suppose say one object can be anything either a color either a name of the person anything anything in the world or real world entity is known as an object so on basis of that we can write the code so it makes the uh, this object oriented programming makes it very much easier for anyone to understand it two stage execution as we have already learned about the what is compiled and then interpreted language so this is what is known as two stage execution first it will convert our source code to byte code and then the byte code will be processed and once after that is been processed you will see the result back in the form of english like statement secure so why it is secure you might have heard that java is very much secure the security of java is strong so thanks to this uh, two stage execution process because the code runs through two steps it is more secure and safer from attempts to hack or modify the code in malicious ways okay it makes uh, the application also secure for that reason java is well known for its security dynamic java is built to adapt changes as necessary to help reduce memory waste and increase performance speed this makes for a, a very robust uh, 
programming language with the ability to check for errors or tampering on compilation so it is very much dynamic okay and you might have heard of java is a robust programming language as well because of its dynamic nature distributed java is a language built with distributed operation in mind it can connect devices over the internet and prompt them for specific program functions this means that many devices such as computers can run the same program and tap into each other for resources and information and okay suppose if you are uh, want to use a specific application over the internet through java programming language it is possible so it is one of the main uh, key uh, feature of java and the last one is multi threaded java is multi threaded language with its own set of synchronization primitive objects these objects make uh, using the multiple threads in unison more manageable resulting in simpler use and better performance multi threaded in the sense at the same time we can uh, perform lot of other uh, parallel execution can happen so that is what is multi threaded these are the main features of java we learned what is java and what are the key features of java that it's a, itself is enough to know what is java about in the coming videos we will see what are objects what is a class everything each and everything like operators a complete whole uh, uh, you know java okay for this video this is all let's meet in the next video thanks for watching bye bye